Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to, welcome back to Endless Space 2. So it's been uh, quite some time since I last covered this game, and I've been wanting to get back to it. I, I love turn-based strategy games. I love Endless Space 2, I love Endless Space 1, Endless Legend, whatever. The problem is just finding the time to get a, to a 4X strategy game in my busy schedule is rough. Anyway, uh, let's go advance. Let's try that. Um... Well, let's just ignore that. Oh, this is a tutorial. Well, I've already played this, so we don't need to do that. So let's let's pick a race and go go through things. Um, so the game is fully out. Came out, uh, geez, a month ago. I meant to do a series on it at the time, and I just well, eh, doesn't always work. So let's turn speed up to fa uh to fast. We want it to be fast. Minor difficulty. Okay. Um. Let's leave it on normal. Let's leave it on eight. Let's leave it on most things. Let's really just figure out what we want to do. Number of constellations, few. Galaxy density. Let's... Do we want to do large? Let's just keep on large. Okay, so we can be the Sophons, the science people, the Cravers. Um, I believe they, like, actually eat planets whole, which is a problem. I don't know what the humans have. There's the Horatio, the clone people. The Horatio are kind of my favorite faction. Uh, incredibly wealthy and only slightly less deranged, Horatio was a trillionaire who left to discover his own star cluster, finding a planet sprinkled with labs of ancient cloning technology left by the Endless. The boredom soon drove Horatio to create a race of allies, servants, and slaves, who are every bit as gorgeous and as the most beautiful person in the universe, Horatio. Once the planet was repopulated, Horatio I had only to look up, regard the stars, and realize how much more beautiful they too would be if they were filled with Horatios. The rest, as they say, is history. So, I like the idea of Horatio. Riftborn. They're new. I like them. Uh, what can they do? Uh, can build singularities, affect time by placing them on a system. That's interesting. Riftborn. So they get bonus to dust, science, and industry. Horatio. Gene Hunter. And Horatio. Okay. The Unfallen. Ooh, pretty. Can use their ships to expand the tendrils to adjacent systems. When a system is anchored, this way they can colonize it or let it provide bonuses. Approval and population growth to friends. And they just get food. The Vidyani are the shipbound arc religious people. They're kind of neat. The Lumeris. Oh, these were the people that I was using, but I wasn't very good at them. Let's give uh, the Riftborn a go. I think. They could be interesting. Oh! Click to use Heroes skins from the digital deluxe version. I should actually make sure that I've got that, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so I do have the uh, deluxe edition, so we might as well leave that on. I don't see anything else. Perfect. Now, I've always liked Amplitude's games. They've got a really nice uh, visual style to them, and they like to uh, kind of remix games that I loved as a as a kid, I guess. I was a huge fan of Civ games and Master uh, Master of Orion when I was uh, when I was younger. And Amplitude seems to be kind of going through my childhood and remaking those games as kind of more interesting and deeper games. In the universe. We need nothing if you're endless. Your dust until. The rift ripped a path between our realities, injecting a blight that spreads like poison. A cosmos of order and balance was shattered forever. Dying, corrupted, and consumed. We had no choice. your universe willing to do anything to save our own this unlucky people have come because a rift in the fabric between the universes threatens their existence things look bleak hopeless even in desperation the Communion has sent an advanced party through the rift into this terrifying galaxy with one goal. Saving the rift-born civilization. 
You lead the party, and the weight of the survival of your people rests upon your decisions. Go with strength and with hope. Failure is not an option. Yay. Okay, time of survival. Hailing from another dimension, cross the uh, the Riftborn cross the Rift to find themselves in an utterly alien universe. A quasi-robotic incarnations of their true forms, their population growth and manpower systems are unique. Okay, select home system for more information. First off is machines. Riftborn populations do not grow in the usual manner using food, but instead are used with you uh, are built with industry. How about we create some Riftborn to help with your survival efforts click on the machine embodiment so this so 250 to create a new population I really like that Riftborn manpower stocks are increased in a similar manner rather than supplemented through natural population growth military personnel are constructed with fabricated forces note that food can still be used and exploited by your non Riftborn populations Okay, so we've also got Cerebral Reality, which is good. Uh, all of these are pretty good. So these are colonizable drone networks. Um, what do we want to do? So this one's colonized. We could... Oh, we can scan these. Wow, they really did make this like much nicer looking, honestly. Okay. Uh, if I get this, this will be faster. So let's get the drone networks and probably cerebral reality. Uh, they're a little bit faster and should speed us along towards machine embodiment. What's our current population at? Okay, so we're at a, a pop of three. Population of that type. Oh, we have Riftborn and Remnant. Okay. Remnant or assassins use their intensity and efficiency in making a galaxy a better place. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got a, a second population hanging out in here. That's cool. Oh, I really lo love the music in these games. Okay, so we've got two defending fleets, and do I have any scouts? Yes. So we've got the first wardens. So Shadow, Shadow's a scout ship, exploration. And the void wardens, the Geist, is a colonizer. Okay. Well,. We could actually start launching some probes. Let's go this way. And let's go this way. In retrospect, I probably should have... Well, I guess we can check out this direction. Maybe we'll find something interesting down that direction. Do I send my colony ship out? For better or worse, we'll do it. It probably won't get murked. Okay, we should do some, uh, oh. Um. H-Field Accelerator. Support module. That's happiness. Colonize Tundra. Convert one population into, oh, geez, no. So this is, this is sort of slavery, sort of not. Um, so that's a bunch of extra food. Ah, we want Xeno industrial infrastructure. The more industry we can get, the better. Okay, and hero management. Oh, I love these guys. Okay, so let's see what's good. What's good about this guy? So he's an overseer. Riftborn. Um, what are his abilities right now? Sometimes these guys have like a base passive. What's he good at? Extra money, extra industry. Okay, so this guy, 100%, is a... Uh, this guy, 100%, is an administrator. I guess with a name like Overseer, no surprise. Okay, any any other pressing issues? It's been a while since I've played any of Am uh, Amplitude's games, so uh, it's going to take a little bit of relearning. Uh, it's part of the reason why I'm not playing on higher difficulty. Also, the last time I tried playing this game, it kicked my ass. Oh, I sent my colony ship this way and my scout the other way. Well, that's fine. Um, geez, I'm just going to start ending some turns here. We have a pending choice. Okay. Ah, we just finished research. God, I love the art for this game. It's beautiful. Okay, so this gets... 
Cube of the Viceroy. Unique improvement, dust. Extra money per system level. Original empire population can only be built once per empire. Accelerated buyout. It's probably tempting. Yeah, let's go with this. Uh, money would be worthwhile. Now what's this? Oh, this technology is specific to Riftborn. Either that or we could look into colonization. Let's actually do a little bit of colonization. Okay. So, Solo Quest started Chapter 1, Beachhead Part 1. The universe is utterly unlike our own. Burning orbs of fire, scarred balls of rock, hanging in the void, vast realms of nothingness, emptiness. Empty, pitiless, terrifying. Some of the worlds are more barren, are more than barren airless rocks, cloaked in dirt that seems fertile ground for tenacious foliage forms. They choke the surface and deny it the light. S strange things stalk and shuffle and slither throughout the underground. We were fortunate to avoid settling on such a world, our world, the world we named Vanguard, on account of us still of us being the spearhead, is a white wilderness broken only by still and silent forests. Icy brooks and perpetual gray so skies. It is in in its near ceaseless white embrace, where the sky can sometimes be mistaken for land. It is reminiscent of the homeland, but if you look closer, cannot hide its grotesqueness. Things scurry under the snow. Others open dark wings among the shadows. Chilly waters crash and shriek against the rocks. Worst of all, bursts of color sometimes burst forth Unexpectedly, sunlight on fish scales, winter meadows blooming with flowers, sweeping curtains of green and purple light in the starry night. No words can do the horror justice. My words suffer. They are resolute. Their suffering is nothing as next to the plague that spreads throughout the homeland, Koraz. Every message from the communion speaks of the blight growing, more and more the world becoming dead and blackened. There are many paths we might follow to end this nightmare. Even in the little time we have left, we have spent in this world, I have begun to form my own ideas for what is best, but I'm merely an instrument of the communion, faithfully relaying the situation here to the best of my ability. They decide. I await their orders. So explore. Explore five curiosities with a hero of three or higher. Construct 11 system improvements, and that'll get us a bunch of Hyperion or reach out. strengthen probably Hyper Hyperion could be useful maybe I don't know and Academy the system where the Academy is located has been discovered by an unknown Empire well that sucks the Academy is like hella handy okay so let's take a look at Mus Muscon I don't care about the singular planet large toxic colonizable 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 um well, we're good with snow, aren't we? What's the uh, max pop? Six. But six and also super spuds. Seems worth looking into. Max pop five, max pop three, max pop four. Yeah, let's pick it up. Super spuds seems like it would be kind of useful. Average deposit three. Unknown atmosphere curiosity. All right, sounds interesting. Um, so it's gonna take 15 turns before anybody else shows up. And we'll just have to wait on these, that's fine. Okay, and you. Honestly, I guess I've got another one of these. Let's fire probe and then explore up this direction. Honestly, I should probably just set it to auto explore. Uh, we'll do that after this one. Might as well. Okay. Oh, we can pass our first law. And we've discovered the planet Auriga. Oh, sweet. Endless Legend. <laughs> um, so if people don't know, uh, Endless Legend takes place on Auriga. Or Auriga? I don't know. I think it is Auriga, actually. This garden planet was used as a biological laboratory for the concrete Endless. With myriad experiments run on both native and alien life forms. A site of major conflict during the Dust Wars, the environment degraded and the surface of the planet was eventually covered in ice. Where there are rumors while there are rumors and expeditions that claim to have uncovered miraculous runes and the vestiges of great empires, today Origa is an icy tomb. Oh that's sad. 
What? Oh, it's in Primus, isn't it? Maybe? Or is it in Nile? Yeah, there it is. Large ice colonizable. And it's a dang good planet ish. Okay, so we want to open up the Senate screen because it's time to pass some laws. We've got dust ball windfall. 15% of industry spent on any construction is converted into dust at the end. Ooh, nice. Okay, what else can we do? More laws will become uh, available after each election. Okay, so we have the Super Tax Act, which is more money, less happiness, more pop capacity. But that's army capacity. Toys for boys. Happiness, but... Okay. I'm leaning for new colony. Let's go with new colony, because we're going to be getting a new colony fairly soon. Okay. And let's just keep moving here. Oh, so the probe picked it up. I getcha. I love the probe system. Probe system is cool. Looks like there's more super spuds up in Hadar. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, money on cold. Yeah, these seem like they're worth it. Let's keep, let's keep doing this. Can I go to the tech screen? Oh, here we go. This is familiar. Didn't they change? I think the tech screen used to be less interesting. Empire may have found secrets of voyaging between the stars, but further... Okay, so science, science, science. Yeah, so science and exploration, tra economy and trade. I'm probably going to be focusing on most of these. Empire development will work on too, but I want to get more science as we go along. I guess baryonic shielding might not be a bad idea. We'll leave that for later. Deeds available completed. I'm curious about what some of these mean, but we'll leave them... We'll leave them be. Okay, so what else do we got here? Um, I mean, that's kind of useful. That's probably more useful. So we'll get the extra population. And we'll, we'll keep working on that. Take turns. And then I'm going to turn him on. Auto explore, I think. We could send out some more probes, but I think at this point we're fine. So Vega has a number of things. It looks like if we're lucky, um, so the last time I played this, I got kind of beaten really hard. Uh, oh, Hadar has um, Hadar has a rival outpost on it. Okay, so I'll have to keep that in mind. We're probably going to want to expand expand to Scorpius and Vega next. Uh, I'd like to get down to um. Nile with uh, Orga, uh, but I don't want to overextend. Um, academy power increased. Okay, now has Nusan? Nah, still gonna take a little while. Unfortunately, local acceleration can't do. We'll wait. We, are we come oh. into your cosmos on a mission of survival. I feel like we should be able to, like, ally with them. Like other Riftborn factions. <laughs> no, that'd be a little bit powerful. Okay, so Riftborn's re po relationship to population manpower growth isn't the only unique thing about the civilization. Even stranger, the Riftborn's natural time-shifting abilities. Select a star system to learn more. Okay. With the ability to create singularities, regions of space where the flow of time is disrupted, the Riftborn have the powerful tool for have a powerful tool for influencing progress across the galaxy there are several types but two are immediately available for construction or compression and dilation singularities each has specific dust and strategic cost and once constructed remains your sing in your singularity inventory until deployed okay so we can do compression extra experience on heroes extra recovery rate on heroes versus dilation Oh, I see. So this gives us 25% 20 per, extra fids, but I don't know what depletion points are. Can I look at that anywhere? 
Because depletion points is something new. And I don't know what to do with those. So it looks like dilation uh, is more of a uh, offensive ability. You use that on opponents. But yeah, I have no idea. I'll have to I'll have to see if we can find it. Cause I don't see anything specific about list of improvements, not automated, population. But yeah, I don't see anything about depletion. Defense. Not a clue. Okay, let's just end turn. I'm sure we'll get some more singularities that might actually be good. Okay, so we did that. So this is going to take seven turns. That's a bit rough. Let's take a look at the tech screen. Maybe make some more uh, properly. Oh. Be the first to have three unique. Builder of wonders. Oh, right. We have these. Studier of worlds. Eight planets colonized. Okay, so these these are kind of nice, but not that important. Okay, so what's this require? So we can get any of these if I want. Resource generation and strategic resources. Luxury, okay, so that's marketplace stuff. I'm leaning for, um, I'm leaning for these. Sterile. And alternatively, colonize forest and monsoon. Well, we're not really looking into colonization yet, so let's work on um, the ledger. No, 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 no. Let's work on this one. Because cube of the Viceroy, 25 dust per system level, and original empire population. There we go. Okay. It does amuse me that we are space racists, though. Sort of. Okay, can we... Um, can we talk with these guys? Pressure Some trend. Some things in this cosmos we have come to understand. You're well, not, not one of them. What do you want? So we are pretty poor on influence. Yeah, I'd like to, uh... I'd like to actually... Get an ally. The, usually what happens when the with these games is I just end up with everybody hating my guts. Uh, and it sucks. Because uh, actually having some allies here might not be a bad move. Well, I guess we'll just push it and hope for the best. Okay, so we're already done with this. So, unique improvement, dust, and buyout. Alright, um... I guess we should probably look into... Yeah, infinite supermarkets and stuff would be a good idea. Also, we get treaty diplomacy, and he ranks up sign skills. So, just straight up extra industry on the system. That's probably the most useful thing right now. Okay, so if we go back here, that'll speed this up a lot. So let's get the Cube of the Vo Viceroy. So, fabricate forces. So that just puts out 50% of, uh, of industry is put into manpower and that's populate your ships and ground troops and stuff like that okay that's useful let's keep working on um improvements for a bit should also maybe look into colonizing how long would getting a colony on gikra be wouldn't take too long Let's do that. Um, maybe we do the Cube of the Viceroy. There we go. Oh, dang. Cube of the Viceroy is going to take a while. Okay, I'll take that off the list for a bit. It'd be good, but it might also take a while. And latest political survey. Mostly industrialists. Hopefully we can just kind of keep that trend. I like industrialism. Okay, and... They're just flying around. Okay, the polls are in. Political surveys are important tools for understanding the likely results of forthcoming elections. If you want a better idea... Okay, we'll look at that later. Oh, we'll have our first election in one turn.
Okay, we've discovered the pulsos. Thinkers and tinkers. Useful. Haven't made contact with them yet. Okay, so pulsos. The harmony a species of sentient crystal traverse the universe seeking its mystical core. Tied to the waves uh, to waves and radiation, their voyage was interrupted by the confusion that dust wrought upon their senses and bodies. While most harmonies strive to pass beyond the dust-tainted galaxy and continue their quest, the Pulsos are a dust-infected subgroup that have decided to stay and study this mysterious phenomenon. Okay. So, we've got the ecologists, the industrialists, religious militarists... So scientists are pretty good, but I think I'm just going to give official support or primary elections or lobbying. Let's do primary elections and vote breakdown by systems. So three industrialists, one scientist. Okay. The elections are over. You can see the composition of your Senate. Learn anything new. Laws have been unlocked. Be warned, though. Some elections will trigger unforeseen consequences. An uprising among a disgruntled splinter group unhappy with the result or perhaps even evidence of political fraud coming to light. Okay. Well, no outcome. So, I guess we have some scientists, maybe. Okay, so now we can do diplomacy. What else can we do here? This will get us... Yeah, we probably want the uh, university. Because two fids per person on planets, uh, extra influence and happiness. And that won't take too long to get. Okay. Star system. Okay. Manpower. Okay, so it's going to tell us about manpower. On the screen, you can see your defense percentage. Defense de defines how well your system can resist an invasion. Some technologies can increase the maximum defense capability of the system. Notice the defense is, in fact, a population resource called manpower. Okay, so it's these things. So we gotta go to the military screen. Okay, here you can see more detail on manpower. The base increase is all the MP you generate in your systems. All of your systems spend MP, which is automatically added to the Empire MP at the end of the turn. Fleet's systems shows the MP consumed. Net increase is the quantity. Earlier you saw that some food is converted and sent to the Empire Manpower. Manpower is spent in several parts between systems to provide defense. On fleets, MP is converted into crews. Okay. Fleets replenish MP when ships have lost crew in battle or are built with an insufficient amount of MP. Replenishment rates vary according to the location of the fleet. Okay, so that's a new thing. Click manage if you want to understand the link between MP and troops. Oh, neat. Troops indicate what kind of ground forces you have. They are used during invasions to defend your systems. The more MP you have on systems or ships, the more troops you have. All troops have their stats. You can upgrade your troops or unlock troop types. The composition of armies in terms of troop types is the same. Okay, so I can actually buy upgrades for them. That's that's nice. So we can get extra health. Unfortunately, some of these are kind of expensive. We can also prevent the proportions of that troop type from changing. We can also put some extra money into some of these things. Well, we'll leave that alone for now. I'm glad that they have a tutorial because some of these things usually fly by me. Okay, and hero levels up once again. Do we get... Yeah, 40 industry on the system. The other things are useful, but just a straight up 40 industry boost means we're going to be pumping out structures like nobody's business. Uh, how are we doing on happiness? 51% content. Yeah... Forgot uh, we got specialization we, we can work on. Okay, we'll leave that for later. Okay, so he keeps exploring, we keep ending our turns. Oh, jeez. Okay, babies, not booms. Arashim's 
Oh, plus one Harashems in Gikra. Okay. There have been incredibly increased, uh, uh, noticeably increased birth rate in one of your syst uh, systems of your empire, Gikra, that it identifies as militaristic and scientific. The trend is particularly strong among the Harashem. Why? Your advisors say it's a cultural response to the instability of the galactic, warf galactic warfare. Okay. And outpost alert. Jesus. They are aggressive. Okay, do we want extra industry or double the industry? I'm not actually sure. God damn. Dang it. Um, let's just go with an extra 25. It'll cost me a little bit of this resource, but it'll max that out. So I guess we're going to have to start going a different direction because... I guess he's colonizing at like an insane rate. How much does it cost to make a colony ship? Oh my god, they're crazy cheap. Okay, I'm gonna throw money in one of them. Um Wow, if I knew if I knew colony ships were so cheap, I would have started doing it. Okay, Vanguard, the home of Cape AI. Ah, yay, we already have Vanguard. Okay. Remove ourselves, gotcha. Might as well head back. I assume we still can't diplomacy Some much here. In this cosmos we have come to understand. You're well, not, not one, one of them. them. What do you so want? I do that. Yeah, I don't want to just throw money at them. Yeah, no, note to self. Honestly, it's actually halfway tempting to just start over and pump out a bunch of colony ships. But it's too late now. I'm just going to commit to it, for better or worse. Let's keep working on these. I, I might try and do more diplomacy this time around. No. You know what? I, I know this sucks, but uh, I, I have apparently made a huge misstep by not immediately colonizing. Usually colonies take some serious effort to put down, but... This guy colonized like crazy. And I think it would be remiss of me not to maybe back us up and try again. Because I've learned a lot here. I like this faction, but uh, con considering I'm just about to get my first colony and he's already got four, we're screwed if that's the case. So uh, let's roll back a little bit and I'm going to uh, pick this up on the next episode with uh, maybe a better strategy.